Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 11th of 2024 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Just a note to those of you who continue to leave comments on these videos. I thank you for your support, for words of encouragement, and I thank you for your interaction to bless others who are also participating. May the Lord release his richest blessings upon your life and cause you to grow and prosper in him. I hope you are all doing well, that you are anticipating great things from a great God that you are enthused about the season that we are living in. If you have been following my channel, and if these words have been speaking to you, I am sure you are being encouraged, because God is still in control. He has a good plan for us and for His world. And so we need to take hold of the words of encouragement that he brings to us. He wants to speak to us. It's a still, small voice, but we need to listen, to hear what is on his heart, because he is bringing his plans into fruition, and he wants his people on board with him, coming into agreement with what he is doing and not with what the enemy is doing. As I have mentioned in the past, when I began journaling and the Lord began to speak to me, he made it clear to me that these were the end times, and the message that he would want me sharing was to encourage those listening that he is coming soon, and sooner than we think. And so this message today is another message that gives us insight into the times we are living in, what the Lord's plan is, and how he intends to fulfill it. This word today is titled, I am taking my rightful place among the nations. May you be blessed as you hear it. I'll begin by reading scripture. Psalm 33 verses 10 through 11. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. This scripture passage ensures us that God has a plan, and though the enemy may oppose him in it, he will foil the plans of the enemy to accomplish his purposes and his promises to the generations. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 24 through 25 Then the end will come, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. This passage of scripture gives us insight into what God's plan is, and that is to put all his enemies under his feet. Revelation 11 verse 17. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. This scripture verse gives us more insight. It acknowledges that the Lord God will reign in the earth. Revelation 5 verse 10 You have made them to be a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they will reign on the earth. 
This scripture encourages us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that we will reign with him. I'll begin reading this word. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, says the Lord. They shall gain ground, for I am coming in vengeance against those who have held them back, against those who have caused them to stumble. I am erecting a monument to signify the end of an era and the beginning of a new day when life and liberty shall be extended to the captives. This is a day of war, for I have declared war upon the nations, and I will wield my sword unrestrainedly to cut down and to cut off entanglements with the world, and I will uproot and I will tear down according to my good pleasure." I am come to make war against those who oppose me, says the Lord. I have heightened awareness of my presence. What you sense is me. I have come to subdue the earth, to bring everything under my feet. Tremble and be afraid, for the glory of the Lord is upon you, and you shall walk with integrity, no longer giving in to the desires of the flesh, but being led by my spirit, for I have released my spirit in the earth in an unprecedented way. Trust in the Lord God with all your heart, and do not be concerned about the affairs of men. I am well able to cause a rapid increase in those things promised. I am able to deliver, and deliver I will, says the Lord, for I shall oppose those things that have kept back the inheritance. I shall break through in ways totally unexpected to bring forth the promises made to this generation, that I am raising up a people after my own heart, Davids who love me and follow my lead. This is the day of fulfillment of every promise, from the smallest to the greatest, and I shall execute my will unopposed. So widen your boundaries, extend your tent pegs. I am giving you more territory, more influence, more credibility. I am thrusting you out of the comfort zone and moving you into circles and positions of authority. You shall call down the high places and raise up the low. You shall raise up a banner of peace and love of joy and salvation. Hearken to my voice. Hear the voice of the Lord. Listen to the still small voice and do not disregard it. For I am raising up a mighty army of warriors in this day who will do battle in the land, taking back all that belongs to them. Their children shall come out of oppression and depression and be brought to streams of living water to be refreshed. Ask and it will be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. For I am opening doors of opportunity at an unprecedented rate. I am pulling down strongholds across the land and sending in my battalions to completely annihilate the enemy. Just as David slew Goliath, so shall my army slay the giants in the land. So do not marvel when you begin to see kingdoms fall, says the Lord, for I am taking my rightful place among the nations. As we can see in this word today, the Lord is taking his place his rightful place 
the place he has always planned to take, and that is to subdue the nations, to rule in the earth, and to take his inheritance, which is a people set apart for him, without opposition. He is telling us that he has declared war on his enemies and that he is bringing forth his promises to this generation, that he is raising up a mighty army of his warriors to take down the high places because he has given us the authority to tread upon the enemy and to take back all the enemy has stolen from us. The Lord is encouraging us to expect to see kingdoms fall, ungodly kingdoms, kingdoms that have opposed everything that stands for God. And so we can be encouraged that those things that have warred against us and our children, against this generation, are going to be dealt with. The Lord is moving in and he is taking his rightful place among the nations. He is subduing the nations and bringing everything under his feet. May we be encouraged that we are going to see change, great change amongst us as the Lord ends the enemy's reign of terror upon us and ushers in a new day of life and liberty. I hope this word today gives you hope that the Lord is faithful to his promises and that he is fulfilling his promises to this generation of those who love him because his plans stand forever. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.